What's up, y'all? Salandia Hammond here, affectionately known as um, Sue Ham Baby. And uh, I just got back from a Black History uh, program. And I'm going to tell you some guys something. It was a really great program. Thank you, Eric Cooper, for allowing me to host. And um, the speaker, Jamal Bates, did a phenomenal job. But as I was emceeing the program, as I was watching things that was going on, I really became moved, man. I'm telling you, I got emotional because I really started thinking about Black history, but not just black history. Uh, but I, I, I just started thinking about black history. Right? I started thinking about people like Madam C.J. Walker, who was the first uh, black woman millionaire, right? And I just started thinking about slaves um, who were taken from the motherland and brought here, uh, didn't receive great education, wasn't allowed to fellowship like they should, um, beaten, raped, talked down to, ostracized. But yet in Still, they still found a way to achieve their goals. Mm. And I got emotional while I was sitting in the church because I started to think there is absolutely no reason why you and me cannot accomplish our dreams. Because for you that are watching this video, you have more than they had. You have more than somebody right now who may be in a country who's sleeping on a dirt floor, who's operating off of 50 cents to $1 a day. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? So not only is it just about black history and me thinking about my ancestors and the things that they went through, but still yet and still did some phenomenal things under the situations that they were under. Inadequate health, uh, inadequate uh, 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 health, you know, uh, 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 I can't even get it out. I'm so frustrated. Inadequate education, you know, inadequate medical facilities, just not allowed to do the things that other Americans were allowed to do. But yet and still, they accomplished some great things that most of the history books don't even tell you about. But what set home for me and got me emotional was that they did not allow the excuse of slavery. They did not allow the excuse of not being able to fellowship like the other people or go to the places that other people went to or have access to the things that other people have access, allow them to stop them from accomplishing their dreams. And I just got emotional while sitting in the church and I said to myself, I have absolutely no reason. You have absolutely no no reason, no excuses that have been created or has yet to be created to keep you from fulfilling the plan that God has on your life. I don't care what it is because if they could do it on just a hope and a prayer back in slavery days, back in days where they couldn't even be caught driving down the road because they could get beaten or mutilated or raped and they still made the dream come true. Man, that things that you can do. You can't sit here and tell me in free America where you have access to the internet, four, five, six, seven mobile devices, right? People that have money, right? Radio, TV, that you can't make your dreams come true. You going home and sleeping in a house every night that has central air and central heat, right? Carpet, right? You got furniture, right? And you gonna still tell me you ain't gonna let your dream come true? Man, these people, fear, fear. What is fear? These people were enslaved and running to freedom. These people were enslaved and running to get their ideas accomplished. And here you were born free, just like me. And you're trying to tell me your excuse is good enough for not living your dreams? Man, you better get up out of here. So yes, I got emotional in church because I began to think there is no reason why you can't accomplish your dreams. If people back then could do it in such circumstances such as that, you born a free American, you born a free person can get it done. If there's somebody across the world in India or some other country that's sleeping on a dirt floor, still trying to pursue their dreams, kids that are in Africa right now still trying to pursue their dreams, why can't you do it here in America when you're going home to a central AC and he unit up in your 3,000 square foot home. Maybe you don't have a home. Maybe you in an apartment. It don't matter. You ain't on the streets. There is absolutely no reason as to why you cannot accomplish your dreams. Your excuses, they ain't good enough no more. You need to do something with your life. Do something. My name is Salandia Hammond, aka Suham Baby. Share this video. But more important than you even sharing this freaking video is you doing something with your life and getting rid of the excuses because they don't mean nothing.